It is Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the uh, Mayhem Studio. No, the Sorgatron Media Studio <laughs> in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. Ooh, I left the lights on. I left the studio lights on. I don't think you'll notice this time of day. Uh, but with me is my compatriot, my partner in crime here at Sorgatron Media and Psychic Media Services. It's Missy, Rebellious Flaw on the Twitter. Hello, party people. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, so we, we, we just had a really invigorating meeting here, uh, with somebody, uh, that we're looking to do a pretty cool show coming up, uh, a little bit of a video game show. And we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Uh, and you'll, I don't want to get too into it until we have everything kind of firmed up and, and we can do an official announcement and everything like that. But in the meantime, like it's, it's that kind of energy. That's why I love kind of where we're at and what's going on with things right now. Right. Um, you know, that we do have this opportunity for people who kind of roll in here and, and, and kind of you know, put their ideas on the table like this. Well, and it's one of the things, uh, like you said, it's, it's energizing. It's great. It's, it's movement. It's very awesome. And when you have somebody who comes in with a great idea and they're passionate about it, it just kind of leapfrogs and just, it inspires you. And then you have that enthusiasm going forward as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really, f- really cool. Um, and the, the thing that I like about it is this is one of the things that you and I have kind of started to adopt this year is making it happen. Not saying it's going to happen, but the making it happen. Like and I'm really loud over there. Really, really, really loud over there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, the monitor uh, kind of blew up. So there you go. <laughs> but anyways. Anyway, so yeah, we're, we're making things happen. So when I'm out with somebody and I meet somebody and they... You know, you, you do the business card exchange, you do the email exchange, the phone number exchange, whatever the case may be. Uh, you let them know, hey, you know, hit me up and we'll we'll get a coffee sometime. The number of times that the coffee actually happens under those circumstances is few and far between because now you both have this, instead of movement, for you know, forward movement activity with it and actual scheduling it, it's just somebody well, did I say that I was going to email them? Were they going to email me? Should I initiate this? Should they initiate this? You lose the momentum. You lose the momentum. Like if it isn't scheduled right then, right now, you know, uh, it's it's questionable whether that'll happen. You know, it's kind of like when you do a meeting and you really should put the next date in the meeting and now I'm realizing there's a meeting that I probably should have scheduled for next week Um, (laughs) for something else we're doing. But that's exactly it because things get lost. This is one thing added on. If you're somebody of especially a creative nature or making nature like we are and the people that we deal with, you probably have a million other things going on and it's going to get lost in the shuffle. You know, how many times have I poked at people and say, hey, do you still want to do this project we talked about? And then sometimes that would just turn out like, oh yeah, let me talk to so-and-so and we'll schedule a thing. Are you free Tuesday? You know, that kind of thing. And it moves that, it moves that ball forward mm-hmm. because so many of the, that, so much of that potential energy will go away, right? And, you know, having that opportunity to say, you know, to, 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 to push that and, and kind of say, and also show, that you're really interested in it too, if you have that kind of in line. Yeah. And, and that's the other thing too, is I've gone to, I've gotten to the point now where if I'm with somebody, I will legit pull out my phone and say one, all right, let's, let's schedule something right now. And you know, if, if we were talking about getting together in a couple of weeks, I automatically skip, you know, a couple of weeks from now. All right. Uh, you know, I look good that Thursday or Wednesday or that, that Wednesday or Thursday. How, How do you look for those days? And they pull up their calendar and like, you know, Wednesday doesn't work for me, but Thursday morning I could do something. Great. Thursday morning's perfect. Let's, let's put in Thursday morning. Mm-hmm. It's booked. I'll send you, like, I'm, I'm putting the invite in my calendar right now. I'll send you an invite. And, and things happen. Like, we, we've had some meetings this week where that, that have been postponed because of, you know, somebody's, their, their job, their jobby job, right? Um, you know, and, and, and in, in each case, it'd be like, well, let's at least pencil in, hey, let's have you in tomorrow at this time or hey thursday's still free let's let me pencil you in there you know and mm-hmm. and unfortunately if that keeps bump 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 then that that maybe will fall off and you keep pushing right because you start to get a message but uh you know but still like it's that you continue that momentum you continue that, that connection you know if you have a meeting where it says hey yeah i need to check the date but let's let's make sure that's happened like you should be the next chance you get uh, there should be something, you know, how many times have I gone to, 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 to get business cards at, at a conference or, or, or meetup or something like that? And they just sit in my pocket or wallet or on my desk for a long time. 
there should be like kind of a follow up that you do like the for the day for the week where you're like oh this is everybody that I chatted with and and I um, want to touch base with all of them and schedule the things that I promised them. I did that with Podcamp. Mhm. I had a list of cards that I had gotten right around Podcamp time uh, and actually it was from WordCamp too. And I reached out I had them sitting on my desk. And two days after the event, I like reached out to all of them like, hey, thanks again for checking out my session at, at WordCamp. Uh, the information that I wanted to talk to you about with your podcast, um, you know, check out our podcast stuff here. Or you can also check out the uh, the PodCamp stuff. It's, it's free content. It's, it's a free conference. That's scheduled for here. And you can find out more information, get tickets, whatever. There you go. I had three people connect back with me and say, that's awesome. Great. Thanks. I've already registered for PodCamp and, you know, I'm I'm definitely going to be attending and and checking it out. Would love to have a conversation with you there. And I actually had a conversation with him at PodCamp and he seemed to enjoy it. Got some information that he was looking for for things and gave him kind of that go get him type of momentum to go forward with things. Uh, There's somebody else that I met and this is actually a reminder that I hit him up and reminded him, Hey, you know, here's, here's the podcast information. He said he was going to check it out. Probably would be at, at pod camp, but I did not see him at pod camp. So now that's a reminder to me to, to follow up. Mm-hmm. But like I said, those business cards, that's what I did is I, I sat down with my stack of business cards and sent an email to each person that I had gotten a business card from. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can say it again, that, that momentum, right? Absolutely. You know, and, and I've had uh, things where there were projects that we had our meetings for, we had everything lined up, we had a contract, you know, ready to go, and then something fell through. And looking back and kind of, um, you know, looking through our Trello and seeing things we were working on, going back and touching base and say, hey, that thing that we talked about that didn't go through there, like, have anything changed? Hey, here's a new idea. Um, you know, on, on one thing in particular, we were looking to do a lot of really a lot of on location production. And I was just like, well, why don't we just take that idea and do it, you know, here where we can do it for much cheaper, right? The, 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 the price to, to rent this space that's already set up to do basically to sit down and do what we're doing right now, you know, in a record and, and a, or a, um, online, you know, uh, uh, broadcast fashion, um, is a lot easier, you know, and, and, and just having options like that, they'll maybe spark a new idea or a new version of the idea. And we'll just kind of move to the next thing moving forward. Yeah. And, and that's the thing is, um, project management. Um, again, going back to WordCamp, when I went to WordCamp, one of the sessions that I watched now, again, I was there to speak, but I did still check out other sessions because that's kind of the cool thing to do about those conferences is you can go get additional information, you know, talk to other people and, and learn more things. And you're, you're not just there as the expert presenting what you're, you're doing. You're, you're sharing in the experience and, and learning more things as well. So I sat in on this session about um, the, the speaker was talking about her process for onboarding new clients and she has like a 12 step process and it's, you know, after this happens, I do this. After this happens, I do this. After this happens, I do this. Once we get all of that done, now I have all of the information together to do the thing that you're asking me to do. Plus I've, you know, worked through any of the potential things that could go wrong with it through each of this process and you're good to go. And one of the big things that she purports in in that process is keeping in touch and keeping people on track for things. So she has regular scheduled follow-up stuff and it's for her, it's almost instantaneous. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, we kind of do in house, we do something similar where we try to touch on everything once a week and sometimes we fall out of it and sometimes we have to kind of reboot the idea, you know, but, but doing that with, with everything like that, you know, I think, you know, especially we're seeing with our community groups, like a lot of that falls out and like, what did you do? Oh, I didn't really touch this because it hasn't been on present of mind. And it usually is, you know, day of the next meeting. Oh crap. I was supposed to do this, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but that helps with a lot of different projects that you, that, that you would deal with, especially, you know, when things are piled up the way they are, you know? So, so go and, and really on top of that, having the meetings and having the coffees and to begin with, take lots of coffees, right? If you have the time to put out for it, do that. Um, whether it be uh, people that you see as people you look up to in your field that you're trying to push forward, whether that be a podcasting or 
or, or creating or, 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 you know, whatever your work is, right? Um, anything you want to advance in. I, I know, I know our one friend, he has a, um, a, uh, uh, mentor basically in his, mm. in his business, in his line of business, right? Because he wants to do more than the day job that he has. And he has, a, he has a side business. He's trying to develop that and build it up so it can be its own thing. Right. And, and he has a mentor that he sits down with every once in a while and, and just kind of catches up with, you know, uh, kind of casually. Right. Uh, you know, that is in this space that he's at, that has a business that deals in this on a regular basis while he's still trying to figure it out. Um, and that's a really good band. That could be a whole other talking. And I don't know if we really have that built in. I, I have had several, I think, over the years unofficially mm-hmm. um, that are your mentors. And there's a lot of things I listen to and I read around these spaces that, like you should get a mentor in, in whatever the business is that you're you're into. So I don't know. So, uh, you know, but every time you have that coffee and every time you, you create opportunities to for new ideas, things like Sawtooth Willie came out of. I, I wanted to have a weekly or monthly lunch catch up with, with Will, right? Especially since, you know, outside of wrestling mayhem show or maybe he wasn't on it at the time, but he's a good creative mind. And for us to touch base every once in a while creates new things, right? And, uh, you know, and especially surrounding yourself. Because one thing we can, one thing I'm worried about of us having a space like this is we don't leave the space. It's nice for everybody to come to us and we, we use that, I think, effectively. But we can also still reach out more too. A lot of ideas rolling out in my head. Yeah, I, I noticed you kind of took a left turn there. Uh, apparently, out of beach view. <laughs> so, no, it's it's all good. But no, like legit. Instead of instead of saying, "Yeah, let's grab this" or "Let's do this" or "Hit me up for this," take the extra two seconds to pull out your phone and schedule that coffee. When you're sitting down having that coffee, and you guys come across a brilliant idea to kind of work together and collaborate on a project sit down and schedule it make it happen make it make it actually a tangible item that you can have accountability for um it'll keep the forward momentum moving with it and it'll keep you like i said it'll keep you accountable absolutely um sorry i'm mentoring somebody on facebook right now apparently uh (laughs) but no yeah get out there have your coffees, get them planned. Just kind of a little bit of advice there. Missy? Yes. Uh, at Rebellious Flaw on the Twitter? Yes, yes, I am. I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. You can hit us up if you want to have a coffee uh, anytime. And uh, if you've got an email from us, we're on Vite, 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 dot, in slash Sorgatron if you want to schedule a coffee with me. How about that? Build that in, right? Yeah, I think uh, I have my Vite link in the... Signature of your signature, email? yeah, yep. as well as my find me at Sorgatron Media, Sidekick Media Services, and I think Podcamp Pittsburgh are the three that I have listed. So you can find us in all of the places. Absolutely, thank you everybody for joining us. This has been Basic Sorgonomics. Keep it basic. No, we need something other than that. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs>